Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we will make to do app. So we are just going to make add, remove, update and clear all in this tutorial. The others we will do in part 2 of the to do app tutorial. So let's start the part 1 of to do app. Before we start, please click the red subscribe button for more interesting videos like this. Before you watch this video, make sure you have watched the working with lists tutorial because you need to know that to do this to, to do tutorial and even the tiny db tutorial. So now we need a list view to show the list of the things to do so i'm going to make the width to be fill parent the background color should be white and the text color should be black if you change the background color to white don't forget to change the text color because the default is going to be white and you will not be able to see anything even if you add yes so now we need and horizontal arrangement let's make this fill parent the width is going to be fill parent so now let's put four buttons add remove update and clear so let's change the text to add remove I changed the text of the buttons and I changed even the color. So now let's make this align horizontal to center. So we are we need an vertical arrangement. So before you do that, make sure align horizontal is center in the properties of the screen one. Yes. So now let's change the height and the width. So height let it be 50% and width let it be 50%. It can, it can be 60, yes. So now in this vertical arrangement, let's rename it to add arrangement or something like that. And I'm, I'm just going to put add. So in this, we are going to have a text box. Let's make align horizontal to center and align vertical to center and a button. So here they need to enter the task which they need to in the to-do list. So this is the to-do list in which we will show. So let's change this to add or let it be save. Yes. So when they click the add button, this will be visible so that they will be able to enter in the text box. So let's set this background color to light gray like this. Yes. So now we need to do the blocks. So we are just going to do add, remove, update and clear. The other things like task finished like that, we will do that afterwards. So now in the next tutorial, we will do all that. Yes, so now let's bring button one, which is the add button. Remove is the button two, update is the is the button 3 and clear on is the button 4. So when button 1 click, we are going to have a variable called to do list. Yes, so in first it's going to be create empty list. So when add button is clicked, we are going to add items to the list. The list name is to-do list 
and the item is going to be text box one. I'm sorry, it's not going to be like this. When they click this, we will make this add arrangement to visible. It, sh it should not be visible at the first. So we will make it visible. True. After it is visible, they can see a, a button here, the save button. Only if they click, it will get added because they need to enter the task here. So the button is button 5, which is the save button. So only if they click that, it will add. So add items to list. List is going to be this one. And then the item is going to be text box 1 dot text. So now we need to add many things in the next tutorial, like the status. Did they finish the task or not? Something like that. So now for remove, we are going to do like when list view one dot after picking. I'm sorry, this is for updating for remove, which is button two. When button two click, which is the remove button, we need to remove the selected to do item. So here you can see remove item here in the list. The list is going to be global to do list and the index. We need to get the index of the select selection. So you just need to put list view one dot selection index. And then it will remove it from the to do list. Next is the update. Let's do the clear all because it is easy, which is button four. You just need to do like Here, if you see in the list, you can see you need to create an empty list. So we will set the variable, which is the to-do list, to create empty list. Yes. So now let's do the update, which is button 3. So how will the update work? First, they need to select something. For example, an item. In the to do list, after they select it, the text is going to appear in the in a text box. It's we need to show the add also. So when they click the update, which is button three, we need to show the add. Let's put set. Add dot visible to true. Yes. Then in the add we ha we have the save button, so it should not add the item. If they click on update, it should update it. So we are going to put an if condition. And let's make a list called. Add, comma, update. I think the, the name is too long. Let it be add and update. You need to put an underscore. Yes. So now I'm going to set this add update. When they click button one, I will set this to Add. So now we need and in the if condition we are going to put like if the variable I'm sorry not this one it should be get if this variable is equal to add then only it should add or else it needs to update. So for updating we need we need another button. No, we are going to use the same save button. 
so we are going to do like replace list item this one the list is going to be the to do list the index is going to be the selection index and the replacement is going to be text box one dot text yes so now when they select something in the list which is list view after picking after they pick something we need to set the text box to to the items name so now we just need to test our app we made the add update remove and clear all let's test our app and see if it is working you need to update the list after you set the variable so in all of these we are going to update so when button 5 click after they add the item we need to do like set list view one dot elements to get to do list and even this is going to be here let's put the same thing for the remove i'm sorry the clear all and the remove and then we also need to save it in tiny db so that after they open the app again it will be visible so go to storage bring the tiny db and then we are going to save it in tiny db when they add remove and do the other things so when they add which is button 5 in this we are going to have a tag called to do and the value which we need to store is the variable called to do list let's just copy and paste it all over the box this is for the clearing and this is to remove yes so now when when it is initializing it needs to show it needs to get the value from tiny db and show it so when when screen 1 dot initialize set this view 1 dot elements to we are going to get the value from tiny db the tag is going to be you need to put the same tag we put to do t capital and o small underscore b capital and o small yes so if the value is not there if they are using the app for the first time then we are going to do create empty list yes we also need to set the to do list to let's set it at the top to this one and then we can do like get to do list we also need to do like when button 3 is clicked which is the update button we need to set the variable which is the add update variable to update yes now let's test our app so here we can see our app so now we are going to add an item a task so the task name is going to be let's let me just put a save and you can also remove by clicking remove and i'm going to save it again for updating select it and put some other letter i'm going to put s and click on save this time it has been added because we we clicked add let's remove this select update now let's change this text to s and save you can see that it it has been changed because we clicked on update 
A has been changed to S because we selected it and clicked on update. So now you can also click on clear all and everything will be gone. So now our app is working. We can add, remove, update and clear all. In the next tutorial, we will do many things like after they finish, they need to, there will be a button called done. When they click that done button, it will show it that it is done. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, like and share this video.